In my previous video of LLM series, we continued our journey into the world of large language models, exploring key concepts like embeddings and their practical applications. We discussed how embedding serves as numerical representations of text, enabling semantic search, recommendation systems, clustering, and similarity analysis. Additionally, we delved into the significance of parameters in LLMs, likening them to adjustable dials that fine-tune the model's internal workings to create meaningful embeddings. In this video, we will further delve into the nuances of parameters, especially prompt parameters and understand some of the basics of prompt engineering. So, let's get started. Previously, we saw how model parameters can be used at multiple levels in an LLM at the time of training, text generation or fine tuning. Once an LLM is trained, its model parameters are typically fixed. Changing them would require retraining the entire model, which is computationally expensive and not feasible for most applications. Prompt parameters are highly modifiable. Users can adjust them based on their specific needs and desired outcomes. Different prompt parameters can be used for the same input to generate diverse outputs. These are specific instructions or settings provided to the LLM at the time of inference when using the model. They act as guidelines or constraints that influence how the model interprets the input and generates the output. So unlike model parameters, prompt parameters are not fixed and can be tailored for each interaction. So if you think of an LLM as a kitchen and the generated text as a dish, then model parameters are like the basic ingredients such as flour, eggs, etc. available in the kitchen. They represent the core functionalities of the LLM. And prompt parameters are like the recipe instructions and spices like adding salt, baking time, etc. They determine how the ingredients are used and influence the final flavor and characteristics of the dish, that is, the text output in this case. In essence, model parameters define the what of an LLM, that is, its core capabilities, while prompt parameters influence the how the specific way it generates text for a given input. By now, it must be clear that prompt parameters are elements that are part of the input given to the LLM. They can be further broken down into the following categories. Input text is the core text provided to the LLM, which forms the basis for its response. It can be sentence, paragraph, or even a complete document. Control tokens are special markers or keywords embedded within the prompt that instruct the LLM on specific aspects of its response. Examples include length tokens, style tokens, and temperature tokens. Length tokens specify the desired length of the output, example, generate a five sentence summary. And style tokens guide the tone and formality of the response. For example, write in a formal tone or use humorous language. And temperature tokens influence the creativity and randomness of the output. For example, a temperature of 0.7 for a more factual response or a temperature of 1.0 for a more creative response. Contextual information includes any additional information provided to the LLM that helps it to understand the context of the input text. This can include background information such as relevant details about the topic or situation or a conversation history. For example, consider the following prompt where the input text is write a poem about a cat. And if you provide a control token rhyme, the prompt instructs the LLM to generate a poem about a cat and additionally, the control token rhyme specifies the poem should be using rhyming words. The LLM would then leverage its knowledge of language patterns and rhyming schemes to create an output that fulfills both requirements. When you provide a prompt to an LLM like Gemini or ChatGPT, the system goes through various stages before generating the final text output. One crucial step involves encoding the prompt and any associated control tokens into a format the LLM can understand. This encoding process involves combining word embeddings with control token information to create a comprehensive representation. Consider the prompt, write a poem about cat. Each word, write, poem, about, and cat would be converted into its corresponding word embedding, resulting in four separate vectors which we have seen earlier. Beside word embeddings, control tokens also need to be incorporated into the representation. For example, imagine the control token rhyme is included in the prompt which will be converted into its own embedding vector and combined with word embeddings. The position of control token within the prompt might be encoded to indicate its influence on specific parts of the generated text. Now, control tokens may sound like bias, which I have mentioned in my previous video while explaining parameters. Bias refers to preferences present within the LLM itself, 
often stemming from the data it was trained on. Whereas control tokens are explicit instructions provided to the LLM during prompt engineering. For example, rhyme, formal, or summarize in three sentences, they primarily influence the specific generation process for a given prompt. Control tokens are typically defined and chosen by the user based on their desired outcome. Bias is often implicit and challenging to control directly, requiring careful data selection and training techniques to mitigate and if left unchecked, it can potentially lead to discrimination or unfair outcomes. Prompting can also work as fine-tuning because it provides instructions. When you provide a prompt to an LLM, you essentially give it specific instructions about what you want it to do with a given input. This can include the desired output format, such as specifying whether you want a summary, translation, creative text generation, etc. Or a style and tone, indicating the desired formality, the humor level, or emotional tone of the output. Or maybe a specific information by asking it to provide relevant context or details to guide the LLM's understanding. So while traditional fine-tuning involves modifying the model's internal parameters through extensive training data on new data, prompting offers a more flexible and efficient approach. We will deep dive into the concept of fine-tuning in my future videos, so let's keep it at high level for now. The important thing to note here is that both word embeddings and control tokens provide the input and specific instructions for the LLM. Parameters represent the internal knowledge and capabilities of the LLM, learned through training. The LLM leverages both the encoded information and its internal parameters to generate the final text output. Therefore, all three elements, word embeddings, control tokens, and parameters work together to shape the outcome of an LLM. While word embeddings and control tokens provide explicit guidance, the LLM's internal parameters ultimately determine how effectively it utilizes this information to generate the desired output. Prompt engineers are individuals who design and optimize prompts to achieve specific goals with LLMs, and they possess expertise in various areas, including natural language processing, that is understanding of nuances of language and how to formulate effective prompts. They have familiarity with LLM architecture and capabilities to leverage them effectively, and expertise in specific field or task for which the LLM is being used, allowing them to tailor prompts accordingly. Prompt engineers play a crucial role in unlocking the full potential of LLMs by bridging the gap between human intent and machine capabilities. They ensure that LLMs are guided towards generating outputs that are not only relevant but also adhere to desired styles, tones, and levels of creativity or factuality. Each pattern is designed to serve a specific purpose. Prompt engineer goes beyond mere question asking. It's both an art and a science. Here is a selection of popular prompt engineering patterns that have proven to be exceptionally effective in boosting productivity in both personal and professional context. Persona patterns assigns a specific persona or voice to the LLM, influencing its style, tone, and content. For example, write a poem from the perspective of a heartbroken robot, longing for its lost human companion. The benefit of this pattern is that it creates engaging and consistent character voices personalizes responses and injects specific viewpoints. The cognitive verifier pattern provides the LLM with additional information or context to improve its factual accuracy and reasoning. For example, based on the current weather data, predict the likelihood of rain and showers in the next few hours. The benefit of this pattern is that it enhances the LLM's ability to generate factually sound and logically consistent responses. Finally, the scaffolding pattern breaks down complex prompts into smaller, more manageable steps or questions, guiding the LLM towards a structured and informative response. For example, here's a three-step breakdown. Summarize the key points of this research paper, explain the methodology used in the study, and discuss the potential implications of the findings. The benefits of this pattern is that it improves the clarity, coherence, and organization of the LLM's output, especially for complex tasks. It's important to remember that the field of prompt engineering is rapidly evolving and new approaches and tools are constantly being developed. Now that you know some of the key steps in building of LLMs and advanced prompt engineering patterns, in the next video, we'll take a closer look into the LLM transformer architecture, referencing both GPT and BERT.